Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of PyTest, I am going to show you how to generate JUnit XML report. So let's get started. In order to find the flag for generating the JUnit XML report in PyTest, we have to type a command that is PyTest hyphen hyphen help. Okay, it will give you all the list of flags with the detailed information of each and every flag where you will find out one of the flag that is meant to generate the JNet XML report. So how to do that? For that, I'll switch to this uh, PyCharm ID where we have the sample project. I'll just click on this terminal and here I type PyTest. You can either type hyphen hyphen help or you can type only PyTest hyphen H. Anything is fine. Press enter. You'll get the list of flags that are available in PyTest for doing a lot of stuff. Okay. So we need to find out the flag for generating the JNet XML report. So these are all the list of flags that came in. Okay, so hyphen K, hyphen M like that. We need to find some flag related to JNet XML. So let's keep on scrolling here until we find that uh, JNet XML flag. You see here is a flag, hyphen hyphen JNet hyphen XML is equal to path where you want to generate the report, okay? So using this uh, flag, it will generate the JNet XML style report file at the given path. So I need to provide this, okay? So hyphen hyphen JNet hyphen XML is equal to path where you want to generate the JNet XML report, okay? So here also I mentioned the same. So this is a flag that we have to find, okay? That we found also with the help of that PyTest hyphen H. So we have to type the command like this PyTest hyphen RA. You know what is hyphen RA flag? In the previous sessions I covered by test type and array. After that, you provide this another flag for generating the uh, JNet XML report. You have to give this flag that is uh, J hyphen hyphen JNet hyphen XML. Okay. So give me a second. The flag is something like this hyphen hyphen JNet hyphen XML hyphen XML is equal to path where you want to generate the report. Fine. I'll switch to this PyCharm ID and here. I'll clear this out and uh, type PyTest. In this project, I am typing this PyTest. Hyphen RA. Hyphen hyphen. JNIT. Hyphen XML is equal to where you want to generate the report. Directly under the project. So directly give the name of the report. Let's say JNIT XML report dot XML. Okay. Like this, you have to give the extension as dot XML. Now press enter. Okay, this is a command you have to give. PyTest hyphen RA, hyphen hyphen JNet hyphen XML is equal to JNet XML report. Press enter. Because it has run the tests which are there under this project. There are around five tests. Five out of five tests it has run. And uh, finally, it has generated an XML, JNet XML file under the project with this name, XM, uh, JNet XML report.xml file. You can see it here, right? Under the project directly. The report has been generated. That is JNet XML report has been generated. Right click on this and say open in Explorer. You open in your machine. And this is a report you can open in any of the browsers like uh, Chrome browser or Edge browser, any browser. Just double click here, it will open in browser or right click and open in any browser you want. So now you will see all this uh, XML content. You can see here sample package test sample python file okay test sample file python file under that one test test sample one got executed okay it got passed and second test under the same package that is sample package test sample file and uh, with the name of the test is test uh, method test method is test sample two but it got failed you see under this test case you have the failure means it got failed you got the reasons for the failure assertion error is there and all the stuff and third test case under the same package, that is sample package. And here we have the name of the Python file as test sample file. Under that, the name of the test method is test sample three, and it got passed. Now, under the same package, but a different uh, Python file, test sample file two, test sample file two, test method got executed, it got passed. And uh, un under a different package, sample package two package, this SPT Python file, another test method got executed, it got passed. Okay. And how much time it took 
for the test methods to get executed also is coming here like uh, 0 0.004 and so on okay so this what is a this what is a JNIT external report that can be generated with the help of PyTest okay so what is the purpose of this report why we need this report using this using this XML J, J, uh, JNIT XML uh, uh, JNIT XML report using this JNIT XML report we can customize we can create some customized reports okay by using this xml reports by reading this xml content we, on the top of this report we can generate customized reports okay but that is not required in real time anyhow but uh, it's good to know or good to have the knowledge of uh, generating this jnet xml report if in case there is a requirement where you can you have to generate a customized report using this uh, generated jnet xml report Okay, you can generate this JNIT XML report and uh, by using this XML content, you can you can generate your own customized reports. Okay, that's the purpose. But we don't have to do that uh, or create a customized reports in real time. But if in case there is a requirement, you can generate this JNIT XML report and using this uh, XML content, we can gen uh, create a customized uh, report on top of it. Okay, so that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.